Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here, and it is the winner of the first sub challenge, which was the quickest game ever. The grand prize winner is coming in this one, in the upper left hand corner, grand prize. There is no actual prize for this, like I said, we're going to look through prizes in the new year here of video cards and shit. But the winner this week for the fastest game ever is the man you're looking at in the upper left hand corner it is firewalker playing as the red protoss in the lower right hand corner it is his victim manu man playing for team tank and if you play for team tank i'm guard darn happy you got your arse whooped pretty darn quick in this one yep i'm prejudiced and you know what i realize i have not had my morning dip bear with me a couple seconds here oh yeah this is gonna oh yeah this is gonna be a good oh my goodness Mm, 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 mm. So good. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta have your morning chew. I don't smoke, but I do chew. I chew Copenhagen. I chew Copenhagen Wintergreen. I chew pretty much everything. I chew uh, Redman. I chew Skulls. Uh, mo most of the Skull flavors, anyways. But tonight, or this morning, I got myself some Copenhagen Wintergreen, and it is darn good to get my morning chew. Think about it, smokers. When you smoke and you get up in the morning, the first thing you want is that smoke. That is the same feeling I get here. All right, let's get back to this game here. That's enough about you. Manu Man is getting himself out of bearish, not even walling off at all. He is one gutsy son of a gun. Meanwhile, Firewalker, look at him. He's so sneaky. Doesn't the bullet really actually see him? No, it does not see him. He's going to walk right by him too. Watch. Oh, he does. Look at that. Look at that vision all around him. All right, so he's just basically going to stand there, and uh, if nobody's going to look at you, why not build ship? Just, just build a base there. Still can't see him. Oh, I don't know how he found this spot. Look at this. Like, if we go here, look at everywhere around him. It's just so close around there for vision. That is unbelievable that he's actually able to do this. Let's actually take a look at the good old production tab here. Doesn't have anything going there. APM's not looking too, too bad. And they're, oh, it's going to be a counter rush. I was going to say, I'm waiting for the cyber core and everything to go down, but this is the quickest game ever. You'd be really darn quick if you end up getting the cyber core, warp gate technology, and warping in units here. Opponent's going to come into the base here. He's really not going to see anything out of the ordinary. He's going to see a forge down uh, with nothing else. So to, look at this. He is just going to go to work on this. Very well done. Where did his peasant, oh, peasant's just scouting around the base. Don't know if that was a good move. Oh, he came over. Oh, oh he is one cocky son of a gun. He yes, actually went and built in the back of the base. At the, oh, it's almost like this was a waste up there then. He really could have just built back. Oh, no. He's got to find somewhere to build now. Oh, I don't know if that was for distraction or, or what his plan is here. He doesn't have any cannons going down at all. And I'm not too sure what his plan is now. He is forced to bring another peasant down. Now his opponent realizes that he's got one cannon in the base here. He actually lost his probe. So he's going to bring another one down here to try and help out here. So this really was a dumb idea to come behind. It looked brilliant at first. But now, since it actually got scouted, or not scouted, but actually got beat down your probe there, and then they scouted out your other cannon over here, it really looks stupid that you built it over there. Fair enough, if he didn't have to bring this probe down here and had it maybe stuck to just this area here and push his way out, maybe another one here and then another one up where he's building it down, might have been a little bit quicker, but that's quite fine, you know. Now he's got his opponent in a bit of trouble, but at the same time the opponent has himself, you know, t two barracks down, third one going down as well here. So opponent could real realistically try and fend this off, would need a little bit of help right now, would need to pull the SCVs off the line, uh, maybe with a couple more, and not supply block himself as well. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. You got to realize this is uh, silver. So both these guys are silver, if I didn't mention that yet. Uh, so it is a little bit tough for the lower level leagues to defend this. And de decent. I'm going to give him that. This was a decent build out of him here. He, he wasn't that bad on the cannon rush. wasn't the most uh, <laughs> epic cannon rush in the, in the world. But, you know, he did what he needed to do here. Now he's got a few more cannons building. He's got no more units left on the field here. If he didn't supply block himself, I would say Manu Man might have had a chance. Boring! Oh, man! I don't think uh, Firewalker was that bored whooping your arse, son! It was 6 minutes and 4 seconds. I might have missed a second there. But either way, it's not like it was a world record. It is enough to get the win! So very well done. The champion, Firewalker, with the cannon rush. I will leave you with this. If you ain't ever had a dip of chew, then you ain't ever been in my house. Unless, of course, you don't wear bath. Bear, black sheep, have you any wool? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three, tens, four. You'll be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.